friends welcome back to my channel or if you're new here thanks for tuning in this video is going to be a full face using all of my most expensive products that I own I'm pretty excited to see how much this comes up to be like the total amount because in my mind I'm always like you know like yeah I have some expensive makeup but really I have more drugstore than expensive makeup it's just like I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that are more high-end over my other makeup First of all, I will have everything that I use in the description box below with the prices. I'll also be putting all of the prices on the screen so that way you guys can see it while I'm talking about it because I think that's helpful. I don't know why I'm like trying to explain this. Ooh, I just thought of something else that I might use. <laughs> if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Um, I think I might do one of like, you know, my most inexpensive makeup as well although I have done videos not that long ago about like really nice affordable makeup but it still might be fun to see like a face of like really inexpensive makeup too because there's such great makeup out there that's not expensive by the way my nails like I'm like so obsessed with this color oh my gosh I don't even know if you guys can tell how neon it looks more like summery peach oh yeah there it is so like if I turn my light down oh my gosh it's like neon it is so pretty this one right here I, I honestly have had this for a really long time so I'm not sure if you can still find it but you probably can for the first time ever though I do feel like I'm prepared which is nice because I feel like a lot of times I do my videos like kind of on a whim and I don't really like prepare beforehand but I did this time I got all the prices and everything written down so pretty proud of myself so if you want to see all my super expensive bougie makeup items then keep on watching and let's go ahead and get started so I just did a face mask earlier and so I am gonna put on some moisturizer and some eye cream because my skin has been so dry lately and I just really need the extra hydration all the time these are drunk elephant so you already know these are expensive AF. This one that I'm using on my face, this moisturizer, is the Proteiny Peli Peptide Cream by Drunk Elephant. And it is incredibly moisturizing, which is what I need so bad in the center of my face. My T-zone always gets so incredibly dry when I put on makeup that I just, I feel like I always need to moisturize like so much now. And this costs $68, which is so crazy expensive, but I feel like I'm getting older and it kind of scares me, so I was willing to make the purchase when I did. Anyways, <laughs> I never thought I would have spent that much money on skincare, but I never thought I would have spent this much money on any of these things, so. And then I'm going to take the Shaba Complex Eye Cream by Drunk Elephant. This is $60, and I bought this because one day I was doing my eyeshadow, and actually it was around the time that I got the James Charles Morphe palette, and I was like so so confused about the fact that like some places on my eyelids it wasn't sticking to and I was like is it my eyes or is it the palette I couldn't figure it out and then I was using like other eyeshadows and I noticed the same kind of issue so I feel like my eyes like the texture of my eyes are is changing now that I'm 25 <laughs> so I just decided to get a really nice eye cream to kind of see if it makes any difference and I feel like it has <laughs> starting all strong Lindsay oh my gosh I want to go for a more glowy like dewy look so I'm probably gonna be using this spray a lot I also just want to use this up because I really don't like the smell that much but I think it's also a good product to have on hand this is a Smashbox photo finish primer water and it's wow I just hit myself in the face and it's actually a citrus scent but I honestly do not like the smell of it it doesn't smell like citrus to me and this retails for $32. And then, <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a lot of priming to my face right now. But you guys have no idea how desperate I am to make sure that my foundation does not look dry on my, like, nose area. Oh my good god, I just, like, am so over it. I really am just, like, stacking it on to see if I can make a difference. <laughs> this is the Smashbox Photo Finish 
primerizer. I love this primer so much. It's moisturizing and it's a primer all in one. This retails for $42. I really love this primer. I'm honestly, again, just going to put this in my T-zone area since I already used that primer water. I really don't need all this on my face, but you know, whatever. I like really like this shirt, but sometimes this little thing like gets annoying, but it's so cute. While all those things are soaking into my skin, I'm going to go ahead and start on the eyes because I like to do my eyes first versus foundation. So we're going to do that first. And I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I really love this primer so much. It's just, it's like skin tinted, so it covers up my veiny eyelids. And it works pretty well. I never have issues with my eyeshadow when I use this. So. so my most expensive eyeshadow palette is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I bought this when I was in New York City for the first time. And I was so excited. But I was also like super tired and delirious. Not really thinking about the fact that I spent $129 on this thing. But I was just too excited. And I wanted this so bad. I don't regret it because it's... Now I have that memory along with this palette and it's honestly like the most gorgeous palette ever. It's definitely like so aesthetically pleasing. I really love palettes that just look so pretty and inspiring. The other palette that I have that I got like the same kind of feeling for when I was buying it was the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. So when a makeup company can make a palette that like looks so pretty inspiring to me, I'm gonna buy it. I just can't stop myself. So, um, I have a problem. <laughs> the only thing that I don't like about this palette is that there's not really an eyeshadow to set my primer. This one right here is actually quite pink, and this one up here is a shimmery white color, so neither one of these are really good, like, starting colors, because I like to set my primer. But I'm gonna go ahead and try out this one anyways. I've actually never really tried it. I just can tell it's really pink. I'm just gonna use this to set it anyways. And I guess it'll kind of be a transition shade too. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna like go for it. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna come up with. But first we're gonna go ahead and start off with the bright yellow color in here. It's more like a, like a mustardy yellow. It's, I guess it's not like super bright. Sorry, I have this weird habit of like bending my neck when I'm doing my makeup. I don't really know what that's about. <laughs> Definitely gonna give some sunset vibes today for sure. You know, I've been like really, really excited for summer lately. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the yellow shade just a little bit because I kind of want to like bring it up a little bit higher. We're gonna be really bold and going with the the like red right here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Okay. Do you see somewhere in my eyes? Cause I sure do. I'm gonna go back into this color again. I feel like I lost some of it. And back into the red. I'm actually gonna bring this in more. I kind of want this red to be a little bit more like pigmented. Hmm, maybe I'll use a different brush. <gasps> oh my god, look how close I was to dropping this. I literally caught it by the plastic. I also got my finger into this one like real good. <laughs> I mean, it probably would have broke, but like I honestly get terrified of dropping this thing. Cause it's so expensive. Oh. Lord, every time I almost drop it, I like have a heart attack. Oh yeah, that's what I want. Okay, right, now I'm gonna go into this little, this brown color right here. Okay, actually I'm gonna use this one. Which one should I use? Thinking definitely the bright would look really pretty. And I am gonna use the Smash Fetch Water. The shade that I was just using is this one right here, but I think I am also gonna take a little bit of this one right here and put it closer to the red. Now that is a sunset look, if I ever did see one. I am going in with the shade again, just I kind of want more deepness here. 
I really wish I had somewhere to go because this is looking so pretty. Oh my god, I need to use this palette more. But look at that fallout. Holy crap. I'm going to finish up this eye, clean this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done for now. I'm going to go ahead and add some of this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask to my lips because I use this literally all day, every day. It's like my favorite lip product to help with like dry lips. And I'm just going to put this on just so I can like prep my lips for lipstick later. I'm obsessed with this uh, this lip sleeping mask it's so good but it is pretty expensive it's 20 dollars for like a lip balm kind of product but so worth it you get so much in here that it's going to take forever to finish it so next we're going to do liquid liner and my liquid liner is the most expensive one that i have is this tardis double take eyeliner and it's basically a pencil eyeliner on one side and then it's got a liquid liner on the other really awesome for like traveling purposes but i'm actually think i'm gonna go ahead and use this one this is the benefit new roller lash liquid liner and this one is the mini size but the large size actually costs the same as the other one 22 dollars and the mini one is 12 dollars but it ended up costing me way more than that since i bought it in euros <laughs> I have a vlog on when I was buying it too, but yeah, I, sh I should have just brought the big one. I don't know why I didn't, but I really like this liner a lot. This with liquid liner is honestly amazing. Like, I, f I love this so much. It's like one of the best ones that I've used in a long time. Gosh, this eyeshadow really is like a vibe. Oh my gosh, I'm just feeling so warm. It's semi- oh. I love it. <laughs> what in the world is wrong with me? So now we're going to start on the face, finally. My most expensive foundation is the Hourglass Foundation Stick. This retails for $46. That is so expensive, especially for a stick foundation. Oh my gosh. I literally stared at this for like the longest time before actually buying it and then I finally took the plunge. For like specific looks, I just really needed something that was like super full coverage like this. And it really has come in handy sometimes, so. But I use it very sparingly. I'm gonna try something that I've never done before. I'm gonna use a sponge. It's kind of like starting to dry up. I'm gonna, again, I'm trying to use this stuff up because it's just really not my favorite thing. Let's get this like real moist. Ooh, that is real moist. See what this does. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This will work. This will work. So it's kind of shearing it out a little bit, which is actually kind of what I want. Wow, I've never used this foundation like this before. And I like this. It's like light coverage this way. If you like wet your sponge. So for concealer, we're gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape. Duh. It's like amazing, but it's also <laughs> expensive. In my opinion, I think it is. I mean, it lasts a long time, but this is $27. That's pretty expensive for a concealer, like, but it's so worth it. It's literally the best so i have the shade fair neutral oh my foundation the color i used is cream so that shade works really well for me a little bit up here chin here my nose i always have to tell you guys my nose my forehead my chin like you clearly see where i'm putting it <laughs> I'm gonna try this again, but maybe not as much. Maybe just like a little bit. Guys, I'm really loving spraying this on the sponge. I don't know if like other sprays will do the same effect because I've never really tried this. But I'm assuming MAC Fix Plus probably does like a similar thing to this. I'm loving the way my face makeup looks right now. So I am gonna take the Hourglass Veil Translucent Translucent setting powder is actually a smaller one. This one is $20 for the small one, but the large one is $46. We're just gonna put a little bit under the eyes. I have a feeling this video is gonna make me start spending more money because this look is so pretty so far. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with this so far. I'm gonna be pretty bold and I'm going to use these Cover FX Glitter Drops. I forgot to look up how much this costs because I just remembered them. Um, so I'll put the price on, obviously I'll put the price on the screen. You guys 
see that? I think it really goes with like this whole sunset vibe. Oh, and this shade is called Nova. I'm not really sure if they actually sell this. I got this in a boxy charm. Pretty sure I got it in a boxy charm. You guys see it? I'm not really sure if you can see it because my lights are like kind of hard to show off highlight. Maybe I should add some more. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's kind of a lot. Okay, now we're gonna bronze slash highlight. I don't, what am I, what am I doing? I just like love this nail color so much and I'm like, bronze, we're gonna use this bronze shit. <laughs> we're gonna use the Marc Jacobs Ta Omega Tantastic Bronzer. I'm obsessed with this stuff. This is my favorite bronzer. Like it definitely is my favorite bronzer. I travel with this, which is super risky considering that it's $49. But at the same time, do you see this? Do you see this massive pan? You get so much in here. I can't remember if this one is limited edition or not, but I know you can still get it on um, online. It's like the perfect bronzy slash contour kind of shade. I just love this so much. Like, hello. You see that? You see the cheekbone that just appeared up nowhere? Aha! What in the world was that noise? I have no idea what that was. I wish I had somewhere to go, but it's 11 o'clock at night. So the only place I have to go is literally my bed. <laughs> but you best believe this summer, we're gonna sunset palette it up. I'm excited. Oh my God. I'm like, so what is, calm down. First of all, you're literally in a house by yourself getting hyped. Guys, this is why I do this. This, this feeling that I have inside that I can't contain and that I just need to like release to you guys is the reason why I have this channel and is the reason why I spent $129 on this and $80 on this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edition Volume 4. I think this is more of like a holiday thing that they do. I'm not sure if you can really find this on their website or not. I know they don't have it on Sephora anymore, but I got it on Sephora around the holidays. I actually meant to buy one of the other ones that they had, but I got them mixed up or something, and then that other one is like totally gone like forever. So that's kind of sad, but now we have, now I'm left with this, and it was $80. Just gonna like add more of this bronzer type stuff. Why not? I'm not really sure if it does anything, but it's <laughs> might as well use it. I will say what I do use in here are these blushes. I do really actually like these blushes. One thing I don't like about this palette is that these pans are just like so tiny, so I have a hard time finding a blush or a brush <laughs> that I can use in here. I'm actually going to just like mix these two it's weird because like it doesn't show up on the brush and like when you swatch it it doesn't show up that much but when you put it on the face it like looks really pretty at least the blushes do the highlighters are just like kind of okay for me okay i have issues now this has been creating so much rage in the beauty community and i'm so excited to use it because <laughs> i need to chill Guys, if you knew me in real, like, life, I have no chill. Like, this is me. I really am just, like, over the top. <laughs> oh, I didn't, did I even tell you guys what this is? I mean, do I need to tell you what this is? <laughs> this is the Fenty Beauty um, How Many Carrots Diamond Balm Highlighter. It retails for $38, I think. It's, yeah, $38. Are you gonna put it on your face? Oh. We are really going for it. We really are. Is this too much? <laughs> nah. No, 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 no. I don't even care. We're gonna, like, we're gonna use the crap out of these products because they were expensive. Y'all cost me so much money. I'm gonna take those glitter drops. I forgot this. To do this, I'm gonna put this on the inner corners of my eyes. Oh no 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 no! Please don't tell me I just ruined this entire makeup look. I used the brush that I used my eyeshadow like the this color for, and it was like, nope. 
Maybe we should grab a clean brush. Let's try again. There we go. Now that is an inner corner highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line. We're gonna go in with this color right here. So I'm gonna take the red and we're gonna put that down there too. And then finally the dark brown right here. Just on the outer corner. Normally I would use the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but I don't seem to have one right now. So we're gonna use the Anastasia Dip Brow. <laughs> this is $18. And there's definitely more expensive brow products out there, but honestly, the only time I spend a lot of money on brow products is if I'm if I'm buying Anastasia. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm gonna do them off camera because, girl, this video is getting way too long. So, be right back. So I made some tea and I forgot it was sitting like right there. <laughs> So my brows aren't even and they're a little crazy, girl don't at me, but like I just like need to get this video rolling because I've been sitting here talking for way too long. Like these videos are so, the hardest part about these videos for me are that I feel so comfortable that the words just spill out of me and I just can't stop myself and it just, it's just hard to stop talking guys. I'm gonna throw on some liner. This is the Sephora Colorful Shadow and Liner Matte Waterproof Black Liner. This is my favorite black eyeliner ever, which is probably why it's the most expensive one that I have because all my other ones are drugstore and they're like just cheap because I'm just like whatever about them because I always go back to these. The other one that I really like is a Marc Jacobs one, but I don't have that because I ran out. This one only costs $14, but regardless, it's amazing. So we're gonna throw some of this on the waterline. So the most expensive mascara that I have is the Benefit Roller Lash. It's 27, 26, 25, 26. It's $25. So I mean, in my opinion, uh, it's pretty expensive for a mascara because you can find amazing mascaras at the drugstore. But we're just putting this on so that I can put some lashes on. Honestly, I don't really feel like it's worth the money. The lashes we're gonna use are the Lily Lashes in the style Miami, the ever so popular Miami lashes that everybody and their mama talks about. These things are 30 bucks. $30 for lashes, one pair of lashes that you can use. I mean, you can use them quite a few times, but $30. That's crazy. They're pretty. They really are. I mean, they're gorgeous, but $30. $30. We're going to use the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive. I think this is like $10. Again, I'll put it on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on and I'll be right back. Okay, so like in my opinion, like I think these lashes are pretty, but they're way too big for me. Like the lash length is so long. I mean, it's they're like pretty, but I just they're not worth $30 to me because of the fact that like whenever I wear them, I just feel like it's overtaking my entire eye look. And yeah, like lashes are there to add to it, but I just feel like they just overtake it. Does that make sense? I mean, you guys tell me like, what do you guys think? Like, let me know in the comments. Do you think these look, like, too big? You know, like, whenever I wear them, I'm just like, whoa, like, they're so large. And I like false, I love false lashes, don't get me wrong. But I just feel like, maybe it's my eye shape or something. They just look, like, so big. Let's move on to lips. My most expensive lip product that I have are the Fenty Beauty Lip Paints. And I have uncensored the red one and unbuttoned the nude one. So they're like definitely like complete opposites. And I feel like either one of these would go really good with this. But I'm going to put on the red one because this is such an extra dramatic look that I feel like it would be like really pretty with this. These are $24 each and you get a crap ton of product. So it's awesome. This is like the most perfect red ever. Lastly, we're gonna put on the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is the mini one. The large one, I think, is $32. This one is $15, but I use drugstore stuff. This is, like, the most expensive one I have, so... Alright, guys, so this is the final look. I am obsessed. I think this looks 
so gorgeous. I love this eyeshadow so much. I'm going to be doing it in the future for sure. And you know what? Two things I learned from doing this. One, I need to use my expensive makeup more often. Um, two, I never, I didn't realize how much drugstore makeup I actually have. I actually have a lot of drugstore makeup and most of the money spent is on eyeshadow palettes for me. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want to see another video like this but using affordable or cheap makeup or another thing I could do is do like half face expensive, half face cheap makeup. I think that could be pretty fun. If you guys want to see something like that make sure to like this video and also leave a comment below saying that yes I want to see that because I have a lot of new subscribers here and I want to get to know you guys and I want to know what you want to see from me, what you like, what you don't like. I want this place to be somewhere where you guys can feel like you can come and chat with other people. I want to chat with you guys. Like I am so excited. Like I just love makeup so much and it's just so exciting to me that you guys love makeup too. So yeah, I think that is everything for this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!